choke options for mount okay and this is playing off of your choke didn't work okay whatever grips you had whether it's a cross choke um, this is one I'd kind of like to do from like the, like the Hodger choke as well um, which is coming here they're coming around with this thumb in like this okay let's turn this one. so let's say I've got that one and he's got a hold of my arm here or something and he's just like defending I've got the grip but it's just not gonna happen I didn't get something right, he, and he's like, oh, it's coming out of mount maybe or something, and I'm here. This is where I'm going to do this. I'm going to step off. I can go knee on belly first, but that kind of gives away what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to make this one motion. I'm going to step off of him here. I'm going to pull him up to here. Now, when I pull him up, I lean into him. His seizure is pushed down into his hips. He can't hardly move right here, okay? If he's here, he can hip out. Okay, but if I've got him compressed here, he can't get away from me, okay? So as soon as I get here, I'm driving in, boom, that's when I get my collar choke there, okay? I get this deep. I like to go two hands like this and hold this for now, okay? Till I can get my other side grip. You can go for a bow and arrow choke here as well if you like those, but I feel like these grips here are harder for him to deal with, okay? So as soon as I get this, I'm going to lean forward. I'm going to throw one hook in, pull him to the side, and there's my little slide cross collar going on. He's blocking my choke, and I feel like I'm about to lose this. So I come off of it here, I set him up to there, and I lean into it. Reach on to get that collar. We're there. If I can get this cross one, perfect. There, he's on my choke side. I lean in. Pull down, pull across. Hide that elbow. Okay. You choke him a little harder this time. <laughs> choke him harder this time. <laughs> okay. So we've got the choke hand in coming here. I like to do it from this one because if I do it from this one and I'm kind of here, I can get kind of crossed up. I almost want to like release and get this top grip here. That one will work too. When you come over here and chop and come down, it'll work from here too as well. This one works really good. I'm here, I step off. I can go knee on belly and act like I'm trying to finish this choke here. You know, I've got the cross one, but you know, he's defending it. It's not happening here. He's creating space. Okay, so let's turn this one. He's creating that space. I step behind, I pull him up. I lean in, boom, feed that. I stay forward on him. As long as I keep him compressed, he's not going anywhere. Okay, boom, I step over. There's the choke. Okay, if I want to go bow and arrow, I can grab here, come here. If you go bow and arrow instead of this one, this is what uh, I used to go bow and arrow a lot. I've lost three bow and arrows, three different competitions, because they're really fighting this hand. And if they can break this pant grip loose, there's out of the choke, whichever one they break. If he's addressing that and I've got this cross one over here, I can hang on to this and keep position. But if I give that up to go here and he breaks either one of those, he's most likely out. Okay, so I quit sacrificing that position to go for a bow and arrow, okay? Because some people are very resilient to those and they'll break a grip and get out, okay? More questions?